ba ba bum bum ba bum bum shattered steel. Uh oh. Now this is the boss. You see those lightning things? It's bad. You can see two hits, he took away all of my shields. Yeah, first installment of secondary weapon. Secondary weapon will be will continue to fire for quite some time. Second secondary weapon, I guess. There's a good splash on the mortar. The Guardian has oh. been destroyed. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! And here we have the teleportation gate. Driving into the ground, I guess. <laughs> and a flyer came through just at the last second. Nice. Excellent. Well, I was a little worried about the outcome on that one since I know that scorpion guy can be a real pain, but all in all, I am most pleased. Let us continue. New chassis. Ah, new shield and reactors. New shields and reactors are interesting, because they can make you more durable and faster, but at the cost of uh, more weight, so you're actually losing firepower to do it. Well, obviously, we have to use them because they're new, and that's sort of the rule, but uh, a lot of times that's a trade-off, and I'll often forego them and, and rather have more ordnance in favor of more ordnance. Core Command is requesting assistance at Orc Prime. Incoming message from Core Command. Attention all orbiting runner units. They gained a stronger foothold here than on any of the other frontier worlds. No central Core Command exists, and we can't hope to control a planet-wide attack. Your computers will be updated with what information we have. Proceed at your own discretion. Data received. Data has been processed and is available in the main polo projector. So now we're on to the uh, next planet, which is already under heavy, <laughs> I almost said Xenome from Gunman Chronicles, under heavy uh, alien attack. I don't think they actually have a name for the entities in this game. So double check that in the intelligence reports. There's our dump trucks, and friendly flyers. Teleports. Oh, yeah, those are the new flying guys that that one guy just blew himself up. Um, like the uh, really skinny spider walkers, the really tall ones that we've encountered, these guys shoot flamethrower blasts. So it can be a real pain because if you don't realize you're standing in one, you'll, you can lose your shields right quick. There's the boss. <laughs> he doesn't really look so imposing. Uh, once you can see all, all him in all his low poly glory, but when he's shooting electricity at you across a darkened arena, it's no good. Yep, there's the uh, super tall spider walker. Now, they call this Aspis. Oh, the tank with the plasma. Light plasma cannon. Okay, so they did tell us it was it was a plasma cannon, even if we didn't know it from having one available for the mech. And what I thought was a buggy in an earlier installment turns out to actually be a motorcycle. Kind of ridiculous. Kind of sad. I, I don't think you ever get to drive one. Could have been my laner tank. Yeah, so I, I don't think they're ever giving the aliens a, a proper name. 
Oh, well, they're just scary. But we have missions to do. Uh, ah, but first we have some outfitting to do. Now we're going to be doing some testing on our new shields and engines. New engine. New shields. Now we've been using the, uh, well I don't even know what they call this model, but the larger guy with our dual mortars on top. Um, but I figured if we want to get the super maximum out of our new equipment, we should put it in something smaller. So, already weighs 4,000. Only 5,500 available. Which means all we get is a primary. And since I want to have as much speed as possible, I don't want to be putting energy into lasers. So, one 50mm cannon. This may be a very bad idea, but if it is, you'll never see this because I will redo the mission and then upload something different. Regardless, Here's a mission briefing. Oryx forces have been fighting valiantly, but they've almost lost the war. The company thought you might be able to turn the tide to the human forces' favor. You're launching directly into the thick of battle. The Oryx Protector's main headquarters is under attack and must be defended. You're dropping right into the main compound, along with another Planet Runner pilot, Crash. You two will be working together here, so make the best of it. There are two Statonix autocannons remaining in the headquarters defense grid, which should be able to provide you some backup firepower. In addition, the protectors have managed to secure two Voltar SAR-1 shuttles to assist you in the battle. This is all the support they can spare at this time. Make sure that at least the headquarters survive. All other buildings at the base site are non-essential for the protectors' survival. Alright, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, the text doesn't match up with what she was talking about at all. I'm going to have to read this to you because you can't read it at all. It opens with, Welcome to hell. I apologize that the advanced briefings I gave you during cryosleep may have glossed over the details of damage done by the alien hordes. Oryx Prime is quickly succumbing to the invading aliens, and thus the company has loaned you to Oryx Military Command to serve as a special support unit. The company would like Oryx to survive unscathed so that their production is minimally impacted. Well, the company. That's how they think. One last thing that I forgot to mention, I had a chance to contact Anik 3 just prior to his demise. He told me a few things about our enemy. Kanarsh Tech? Like, uh, I, K apostrophe... Narshtek, I, I assume that's a name, so they finally have one. Oryx forces have been fighting valiantly, but they've almost lost the war. The company thought you might be able to turn the tide to the human forces' favor. You're launching directly into the thick of battle, blah blah blah. Uh, dropping in a main compound along with other planet runner. Okay, the rest of that looks pretty much like what she was already saying, but... <laughs> Oryx forces have been fighting uh, valiantly. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but there was a lot of detail in the text of that that was not in the briefing at all. Uh, I may have missed things in some of the other briefings, and my apologies if that's the case. Both to you and myself, because that was entertaining and strange. Alright, but let's see if this ridiculously minimal uh, Planet Runner configuration can survive this mission. Make sure the headquarters isn't damaged. Alright, we don't need any weapon energy and plenty of shield energy. Probably won't be bad. Die, chicken! Chicken, die! Yee! Giant fireball ship die fast! Great, great. Here we go. The automated defenses are doing a bang-up job. I didn't even need to come into work today. Oh, uh, looks like Crash, the other mech, is fighting over here. Although he kind of looks like he's running away. <laughs> Crash? 
nah. Alright, they've got that side under control. Let's go see what's happening over here. Looks like this guy's just ramming the building. Hey! Hey! You shooting our buildings is not helping. The fewer buildings we have, the more likely it is they're just gonna run straight to the- Whoa, the one we don't want them killing and kill it. Yeah, you guys take care of my leftovers. I'll go handle the actual workforce. 